come out in Overpowered, my album, my second solo album, and doing a bit of touring and doing festivals and summer comes up and stuff. And my favourite moment probably was that lovely picture that I did with the for, for Mix Mag. It was like a double spread with um with with like a, a, you know an easy jet flight going across the background. So that's probably my favourite. Well, it's pretty hard for me to to have a definitive moment. There's been quite a few, like the first time. Well, Sheffield, I guess, moving to Sheffield, and I'd, I'd been to, to sort of dance music or house music or acid house clubs in, in Manchester, and it didn't, it didn't really connect with me musically. I mean, it connected with me as an, with it, as an experience, but it wasn't like I was running out to try and buy those records or understand the records themselves, you know. Um, but when I moved to Sheffield, it was the way that it was mixed by the DJs up with older records, with disco records. It was the way you could hear somebody DJ like um, a really old um, warp record, like some kind of very industrial metallic record in the same set as a, you know, as a, as a disco record or even a rare groove record or something like that. And you started to understand where the lineage was and how it all connected up together. And for me, that made me quite excited. So there's that. And then when I went to New York in 97, stayed in New York for like three months, and I went to Body and Soul every week, which was a club that was on on a Sunday. It was Francois Kevorkian's party. And that was, again, you know, another education. There's a thread through here. I, I like going out and feeling a bit educated, actually. I get really bored when I go out and think I'm hearing stuff that I know inside out, you know. And I don't think there's kind of enough of that in dance music or club music. And maybe it's kind of shooting itself in the foot by not having that integrity. Um, so that I was fascinated by that, fascinated by that whole New York scene. It felt a bit like, the only thing it could, I could really relate it to was a couple of Northern Soul dudes that I'd been to because the crowd were older. And there was this kind of um, almost evangelical kind of belief in what was going on there. And there was actually a sort of fairly strict set of dance moves and fairly strict way of, of behaving there. And, it sounds really weird and people think I'm a weirdo, but I like that, you know, that's what I want from a club. If I don't get that, then I have to go home, honestly. So those are two kind of pretty pivotal moments for me.